Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday's Thought for the Day. Matthew closes his nativity account with an enigmatic statement in verse 23. Having told us that Jesus and his family went to live in Nazareth, Matthew adds, so were fulfilled what was said through the prophets, that he would be called a Nazarene. Now, those words did not appear in the Old Testament prophets. Indeed, the Old Testament never mentions Nazareth. So what is Matthew referring to? When Nazareth was a place that everyone looked down upon, Nathaniel exclaims, Nazareth, can anything good come from there? John 1 verse 46. And the Old Testament prophets foretold that Jesus would be looked down upon. His hometown ensured that would be the case. So Isaiah 53 verse 3 speaks of the suffering servant. He was despised and we held him in low esteem. So right from its infancy, Jesus gave every indication that he would be the suffering servant of Isaiah's prophecy. And on the cross, the place where Jesus was ultimately despised, Nazareth was inscribed. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. John 19 verse 21. So the Christmas story heads to the cross from the very beginning. But Nazareth's story did not end in dishonour. Jesus' resurrection transformed the name. Now the risen Christ is indeed Jesus of Nazareth, not in shame, but in glory. So for example, in Acts 3 verse 6, Peter healed a lame man in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Jesus is a Nazarene who is our saviour and risen Lord. This Christmas, let's come humbly before him once more. I'm going to close with this prayer taken from Sinclair Ferguson's Advent devotional, The Dawn of Redeeming Grace. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, child of Bethlehem, refugee of Egypt, despised and rejected Nazarene, once crucified, but now risen and exalted. Thank you for coming for us, living for us, dying for us and rising again for us. Thank you for the ways in which you have drawn us to seek you and find you. We trust you as our Saviour. We bow before you as our Lord. And this day we offer you the only present you want and that we can give ourselves. Take us as we are and make us what you want us to become. We ask it for your namesake. Amen. Happy Christmas to each one of you.